Hey guys, it's me, Gary Lee Stanley, your sales guy. How are you doing today? Today we're going to talk about our favorite subject, which is sales. All right. So let's go ahead and dive right on into it. And what is our subject for today? Our subject for today is how to overcome your fears to sell. Okay. What was he talking about? I said, how to overcome your fears to sell. You know, one of the things that you have to overcome when you are a salesperson or a customer service person is fear, okay, of selling. And the reason being is, is because, see, without you feeling confident in yourself, it's really hard to communicate properly with a customer. And also, it's really hard to offer features and benefits when you're scared, okay? And I've been there. I've done that. And I'll tell you what, it can be overwhelming. You know, fear itself is false evidence appearing real. Sometimes we think, oh, we're going to pick up that heavy phone and everybody's going to be mean to us. Or we go knock on that door and those folks are going to run us off, call us names, and call the police. Or we, we're out there, we're talking to customers business to business. We think that, hey, man, we just don't have what the customer really needs. But see, that's called fear, folks. That's called false evidence appearing real. And I'm a salesperson. I've been in sales since the 80s in one form of capacity. And one of the things that I've had to learn to do is to overcome that fear factor, that factor of things that are out of my control. A good way to be able to overcome that fear is to learn the basics and the fundamentals, get a good foundation when it comes to your product, and learn the basics. You don't need to know every single thing about your product to be able to sell it, but it's a really good idea that you at least know as much as you possibly can. Now, I've been in sales a long time, and one of the things that you have to do is you can learn every single thing about your your products. You can learn all about services and everything, but unless you get your feet wet, with me, your feet wet, which means that you go out and do the do. That means doing the work. Sometimes to overcome fear and things that we don't like to do is we have to do them. We have to get out there and do the things that make us afraid. Sometimes, like when I first started doing videos and stuff, I was terrible. <laughs> my videos weren't that great or anything. But see, I had to overcome my fear of having a conversation with you. Actually, I'm talking to myself when I'm looking at these videos. But see, one thing I've learned in selling is that if you get a good foundation. That means you learn the fundamentals of selling. I've got literally hundreds of sales videos that can walk you through a process to learn about different techniques on how to have a selling conversation and how to ask for the order and also close the sale. You know, I would appreciate it. Give me a thumbs up and share this stuff. It helps the al algorithm and it makes other people who are like-minded be able to get an opportunity to see these videos. So if you like this particular subject, which I think most people have fear, and I don't care what it is, you could be afraid to buy the bicycle. You could be afraid to, to make more money. You could be afraid to ask for a raise. You could be afraid to become a salesperson. You know, our topic for today is how to overcome fears to sell. You get out there and you do the work. Okay, guys? Um, it, it, it's not really complicated. It's really common sense. You know, the best way to be able to get on the phone and talk to people is to have a script. Have information that you can reflect at. And I always keep my scripts available up in front of me so when I'm calling on customers, I'm able to go back. Because if I get off subject, I need to get back on track by having a schedule of information that's right there in front of me to be able to keep selling. Now, that'll help you overcome some of the fear because you've got that information. And always remember this, guys. It's not personal. When a customer says no, a lot of times it may be they don't know. <clears throat> it could be also that they don't need the particular product. And sometimes we may have caught those customers at an inconvenience or an inconvenient time. Have you ever noticed when you knock on doors, people are eating or watching TV or watching the kids or nobody's home? Or if you call people, they're busy doing something. 
Well, listen, we're salespeople. So we have to accept that as being a part of our lifestyle. Rejection. Rejection sucks. I hate it. I hate when I get rejected. I hate when people tell me no. But see, remember, folks, it's a numbers game. And because the more people we put our quality information in front of, the better opportunity we have to sell. And if you're a salesperson, if you have this fear, maybe it's a brand new product and you've been in business for a while and you don't really know how to have the conversation about it. Your best bet is to go ahead and get some people and rehearse, get in front of them, do some talking about the property or, or the, the, the particular product and have a good conversation with those people. A lot of times when people uh, practice, they get better and better and better at it. And the more you do it and the easier it becomes, it's just just normal. That's just the way it works. Um, you know, I love sales. I love the good, the bad, the ugly, and the warts and all. And this particular platform is for salespeople or business owners or for anyone who is into selling, wants to be a salesperson, or a person who buys. It doesn't matter what your reasoning is that you're watching this. It may have caught your attention because fear is everywhere. It's rampant. Everybody's afraid of doing something. And one of the things that I've learned in my selling career is that sometimes... You got to bite the bullet. You got to get, you got to man up or woman up and you got to get tough because see, here's the thing. We're salespeople and we work on this thing called commission. A lot of times we work on straight commission and unless we sell something and overcome our fears of objections or people saying no, then we're not going to be able to make the money that we need to make. Now, one of the things that I've learned in my selling career is I just keep trying. I just keep trying. Even when I fail, when people say no, I don't take it serious. I just look at them and I say thank you, I appreciate it, and leave them with a good taste in their mouth. Because sometimes, like I said, we might be talking to people at an inconvenient time. You ever been had anybody call you at an inconvenient time and you didn't have time to talk to them? Well, you probably didn't treat them real nice. I can probably say I probably didn't either, but that's the truth. And our topic for today is selling and how to overcome fear. You know, overcoming fear is, like I said, if you get a good base or a good foundation. Like I said, I got lots and lots of videos that can give you some great information. There's some great speakers out there and motivational speakers that can also walk you through a process because it's a mental thing, okay? It can be a mental thing. And when it's a mental thing, when you get afraid, it's like everything shuts down. You get afraid to talk. You, you go figure out and find out all kinds of other things that you can do instead of going selling, okay? You might want to do your paperwork, shuffle the, shuffle the paperwork, go look, you know, say, you know, talk about the water cooler time. But see, it's fear, false evidence of being real. And one of the things I've had to work on in my selling career is to not be afraid. Again, not being afraid means I pick up that heavy phone whether I want to or not. And then what happens is, is if you do it repetitive, 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 it becomes easier. When you have a product that you're trying to sell, you may falter and fail at the beginning, but the more you do it, the easier it comes to sell that particular product. And remember, guys, when you're afraid to sell something, it means you just feel insecure in who you are at that time. But we can overcome that. Remember what I said? It's a numbers game. And a lot of times, once you practice Practice, practice, practice means being in front of the customer and giving your quality of information. Tell them about your product, asking for the order. You get better and better and better. It And fear, it sucks. I really hate it. I sometimes, even after all these years, <clears throat> it's a personality thing sometimes. You meet happy, ju ju jovial people, and I interact with those, and boy, it's like things happen. And then you meet with analytical people who are thinkers. They got to have all the facts and figures. So you got to put your different hat on. You got to be more, more, more uh, real. You got to be down to earth. You got to be more, uh, you know, not so much as a funny guy, but more as a person who's there with the facts. There are some people who ain't got no time for you. They just will give you a short amount of time, size you up, and then they'll be off to the races doing something for somebody else, and you may have lost your opportunity. Been there, done that, and I'm going to tell you what, it sucks. But I've been in sales since the 80s, and I've sold a lot of stuff door-to-door, business-to-business, and it's weird because it's like 
you'll get into a mood. If you sell something, that's the best time to continuously keep selling something. And I mean it because, see, what happens is, is a lot of times we'll sell something, get so excited, woohoo, I sold something, and then stop selling. Wrong. Now, a lot of times that could be fear. I got one sale, man, I don't want to mess it up. Like, say, for instance, if you're doing an add-on to a particular uh, sale, sometimes people don't want to sell guarantees, warranties, service agreements, and different types of warranties, replacement guarantees, because they've got one sale, but they're afraid to add anything else because they don't want to lose the one sale. But see, listen, guys, once you get a sale, that is the best time to sell more. And always sprinkle your information as far as your guarantees, service agreements, all through the beginning, the middle, and the end. At, so it's not such a big deal when you're out there trying to sell something. You know, my my name is Gary Lee Stanley. I am your sales guy. I'm also your real estate sales guy. I have channels. Uh, it, I've got one. It's Gary Lee Stanley. Uh, it's uh, your sales guy. And then I have Gary Lee Stanley, which is about you know, real estate, how to sell real estate. I have another one, which is a comedy one, which is Gary Lee Stanley. And it's funny, it's comedy radio. And the reason why I'm sharing that with you is because I have other platforms so you can enjoy, you know, hopefully some of these videos. You know, fear is so, it sucks, man. It keeps us from being the best that we can be. And see, the only way, you need to tell your children this, your family this, that, hey, listen, I know how you feel, fear. I've been there and I've done that. I've let it take over me and not be able to help me to succeed in some of the things that I need to be able to do. But I've also overcome. Fear is just a part of life, everybody. You know, we don't have to give up. If you're a new salesperson, I know it's scary out there. I know you want to, to be number one. And I know you or don't know what you're doing just yet. Hey, I just started in real estate not too, too long ago, and I'm going to tell you what, there's a whole lot of stuff that I don't know how to do. I'm really good at talking to people and selling, but doing the paperwork, there you go, fear, false evidence appearing real. The key to success is that I need to just keep doing it over and over and over before, so that way it becomes habit. You know, we're salespeople, we have adversity. <clears throat> and one of the one things you got to remember is you've got fear of failure. Don't be afraid to fail. What do I mean by that is unless you've fallen, you don't know how far you can go. A lot of times people, they get some sales, they do pretty good and everything, and then bam, they get hit and there's no sales. They stop selling. They start getting salesman's breath. They get afraid of fear. What happened? What did I do wrong? It's a business cycle. Sometimes it can be just a numbers game. It could be maybe there's a new product that's out there. So don't give up on the world of selling. I've been in sales since the 80s in one form or capacity. And I've sold over the phone, in persons, business to business, door to door. And the key to success in this regard is that sometimes companies that you think are going to be around, you're going to work for for a long time, they ain't always going to happen. And you get this little bit of fear and But don't be afraid because, see, what you're doing as a salesperson, you're getting this valuable skill level. You're getting this skill that helps you in your future. And you're probably saying, what skill is that? You're a salesperson. Regardless if a company goes out of business or if you falter in your own business, because you're a salesperson, you can take those valuable skills that you've learned and you can transfer it into another product with another company. Even if companies falter or go out of business and stuff, we have elements of knowledge that people need. Every business needs a salesperson. Every business needs somebody to ask for the order. Every business needs good customer service agents. Everybody is selling, and the key to success is what are they selling. Now, my simple goal today was to talk to you about fear, how to overcome your fears to sell. Start saying to yourself, I like myself. I got that from Brian Tracy. I thought that was great. I like myself. I like myself. I like myself. Juice yourself up. Get excited. Get excited and know that, hey, I know more than the other people that I'm going to talk to generally about my products. Get excited. Have that. Do your work with your other salespeople. Tr practice, practice, practice. 
Get your scripts. Put those up when you're calling people over the phone so you can get back on track. Have those scripts available so that way when you're out there talking, you can go step by step by step by step. I carry a book with me. And in my book, I talk. It's a little portfolio. I talk to the customer. I give them visuals. I offer opportunities for the customers to not only hear what I'm saying, but to see what I'm doing. And it gives them a comp and maybe the opportunity to say, well, you know what? That sounds pretty good. But if you don't get out there and try, you've already failed. It doesn't matter, again, guys, if we don't get this sale. But if we keep trying, keep giving the great information, keep loving the ones we're with, helping people understand what we're trying to sell, ask good questions, overcome objections, and not be afraid to fail. We can be so excited. I give you and you give me the okay, Gary, if you fail on this sale, you can sell. And I'm giving the same thing to you. If you fail on a sale, you ain't done yet. So get out there and sell something. Our topic for today is selling. How to overcome your fears to sell. Now you got some basic ideas. So get out there and sell something and be awesome. All right.